Hi, my name is Xu Chen from Alibaba Group. Let me quickly show you what we do in this work. Taobao is one of the most popular e-shopping app in China. There are two main information search domains. One is text to product search, and the other one is image to product search. For our image to product search, it faces a severe data sparsity problem, while the text to product domain developed for so many years has more rich and huge accumulated knowledge. So it is natural to consider could we improve the CTR prediction of image to product search by using some cross-domain knowledge transfer techniques? Okay, when talking about cross-domain CTR, we note that most popular works employ parameter sharing, usually in the embedding layer as one kind of regularization for implicit knowledge transfer. These methods include the popular journal training and pre-training fine-tuning learning style. However, this kind of knowledge transfer usually is inefficient. Keep is proposed to more explicitly transfer knowledge but it has a superdomain limitation and only supports static user transfer. Moreover, in our business, the text to product domain and the image to product domain usually have quite different input feature fields. This largely hinders the knowledge transfer of our works based on parameter sharing. So we want to design a more flexible and efficient way to explicitly transfer knowledge. The contributions of this work are summarized as two points. Number one, a novel cross-domain CTR model Number two, promising results, including extensive experiments and online deployment. OK, then let's talk about the idea of our model. In cross-domain CTR, if a user likes or dislikes an item in target domain, then if we have a similar or related item in source domain, the like or dislike behavior usually preserves. This user behaviors in different domains together can more accurately describe the user's interest. So we come out with an idea that could we map the user behavior in ta target domain to s into source domain. Then the behavior in source domain could provide additional information to help CTR prediction in target domain. We formulate our idea in a, as a translation stage and an augmentation stage. At translation stage, the latent representation of a user behavior in target domain is expected to learn its mapped feature in source domain by a designed feature translator. This process is quite like the translation in language, so we call this the translation stage. After translation, given an input sample of a target domain, we can combine its original latent feature and the additional translated latent feature together to provide more rich information of for target domain CTR prediction. The model details is shown in this figure. And to sum up, our model has several advantages as follows. Uh, more flexibly, more efficiently, and more uh, and ex explicitly transfer knowledge. Okay, thank you.